Hey everyone, this video details my ascent and descent of Wetterhorn Peak in the San Juan Range in the Colorado Rockies. We hike directly from the four-wheel drive parking lot and you'll definitely want a four-wheel drive vehicle with good clearance if you're going to try to make it to this spot. What you're seeing in the video here was one of the tamer parts of the drive up. We got to the parking lot the night before and camped before starting the hike at 4 a.m. the next morning. The hike itself is about seven miles round trip from here. This was actually my first 14er. I spent two days getting acclimated at around 8,000 feet before taking on this class three hike with an experienced relative. Starting this early, much of the hike below treeline was dark and we broke above treeline just as the sun was rising. You can see much of this portion of the hike takes place in these boulder fields. As the sun came up, we had a fantastic sunrise view. Mile 1.5 to 2.5 is probably the easiest part of the hike. It is a steady gain with a well marked path. Once you make it through the boulder fields, you get to this grassy area as you begin to gain the ridge, as mountaineers tend to say. There was a fantastic light show as the sun began to hit the ridge and Wetterhorn Peak. The grassy part of the hike snakes around a bit before you finally hit the ridge line and get some incredible views on the other side. As you approach mile three, the trail becomes more steep. In my opinion, this is the most physically demanding part of the trail as you begin the steep incline up into the more technical part of the hike. This part in particular where you hit this steep incline of loose dirt and rocks was particularly difficult for a lowlander from Brooklyn like me. I really started feeling the altitude and needed to take a few breaks here. I also have a wrist injury that made using my poles a little more difficult which could have also played into this being a harder climb for me. Once you get past this part, you come to the technical part of the climb. It is a steep, exposed rock scramble, and you'll need to be prepared to do some route finding. We used 14ers.com to help us find the route and had pictures saved on a phone to help guide us. People climbing near us were using all trails, which pointed them in a bit of a different direction, and they ended up following us. After the first part of the scramble, you'll go through this part, which is known as the notch, where you'll walk down this steep flat rock and swing around into the steepest part of the scramble. This is the part of the hike everyone talks about, and it's no joke. It's steep, exposed, and there are loose rocks the entire way up, but it was also a lot of fun to climb. I would not, however, recommend this hike for anyone who is afraid of heights. There are plenty more beautiful views as you scramble up the rock face and get to the part of the trail referred to as the catwalk. The catwalk swings you around into the final ascent, and from here, you're only about two to three minutes from the top. Once you get there, you're greeted by unbelievable views. We were lucky it wasn't very windy and the weather was fantastic. It took us about four hours to get to the top from the four-wheel drive parking lot. After enjoying some snacks at the top, we headed back down. I was a little nervous about the descent because of how steep the rock scramble part is, but I generally felt secure the entire way down. I saw some people down climbing, but my strategy was to slowly descend facing away from the wall, lowering myself down step by step, which worked out fine for me. And that's it. Once you get out of the rocky area, it's an easy hike back down to the parking lot. From the top, it took us about three hours, but we really took our time. So experienced hikers might be able to get it done in two. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comments and I'll try to get to them. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time, which will be the best time.